So this is really interesting to me. Apparently, comedian Bill Burr took some shots at Florida Governor Ron DeSantis, who, as you know, has been terrible throughout the course of the pandemic, doing everything in his power to help the virus spread, banning mask mandates from schools, threatening to withhold funding from school districts that choose to implement mask mandates. I mean, he's just been a nightmare. Well, thankfully, Bill Burr, someone who is very popular, chose to make fun of him for all of his stupidity. So according to Lee Moran of HuffPost, comedian Bill Burr tore into Florida Governor Ron DeSantis on his podcast, slamming the Republican for banning mask mandates as his state becomes the epicenter of the highly transmissible Delta variant of COVID-19. DeSantis, whoever this guy is, and they have the most grumpiest looking photo ever. This guy is starting to build stature in 2024, and he says he disagrees on mask mandates. Burr began the latest episode of his Monday morning podcast show referencing DeSantis's positioning as a potential presidential candidate. The amount of people who not only don't even own a microscope or even have a pair of scrubs, you know, unless they went to some Halloween party, who are literally questioning doctors. It's just, at this point, it's just hilarious, Burr said in the program released Monday. These fucking piece of shit politicians, he added. He knows that that's what his fan base wants him to do, so that's what the fuck he's gonna do. Unbelievable. DeSantis, a Donald Trump apologist issued an executive order banning schools from mandating the use of masks to curb the spread of COVID-19. He also banned cruise ships from requiring passenger proof of vaccination, but a judge blocked that order. So I'm not necessarily sure how savvy Bill Burr is, but someone who is seemingly apolitical, like if he can see through Ron DeSantis and his whole shtick, then truly anyone should be able to see through it, right? He's doing all of these things that are reckless as governor because he wants to run for president. He's throwing his own constituents in Florida under the bus because he thinks that in 2024 or 2028, this is going to make him look better to the Republican Party's insane base, many of which probably don't even think that COVID-19 is a real thing. So it's really important that we get back to a time where comedians are making fun of politicians again. Like, that would be really nice to see individuals, uh, you know, come out and condemn this stupidity. But I think that a lot of these comedians, I don't know what it is that made them so bad. Maybe I just like my sense of humor is dead. I find them insufferable. Although I will say that Bill Burr is probably the, the least insufferable of all comedians. In fact, I tend to enjoy him sometimes. Um... But, I mean, like, we desperately need another George Carlin in this moment, in 2021 America. And, you know, hopefully Bill Burr will step up to the occasion and be the individual who will fill that vacuum left open, or the void, I should say, left open by, you know, George Carlin. But it's important that we shame these types of politicians who are absolutely just loathsome, who don't care how many people their policies are killing how shameless they look. They will do anything. They will kill as many people as they need to if they believe that's going to advance their political careers. And it's not just Ron DeSantis. This isn't just a Republican-only thing. Democrats are like this as well, albeit to a lesser extent, and they're less, ex you know, less overt in their extremism. But I mean, Republicans as of late, I, I mean, even as much as I hate the Democratic Party, some of them are like one step away from shitting themselves in public. Like, when you have individuals like Marjorie Taylor Greene and Lauren Boebert rise to prominence and become popular within the ranks of the GOP, even if, you know, she lost her committee assignments, the base and her constituents love her. Like, how can you not make fun of this if you're a comedian? Like, this is this is a perfect opportunity for you to make fun of these ghouls. Like, it, the jokes write themselves. So, you know, who knows? But I love this, and I hope to see more of this from comedians. We absolutely should normalize shitting on uh, these insane politicians.